If you go too orange, you're gonna look like an Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Doo. I've got another puzzle for you. Hey girl, welcome back to Glam Life by Meg, where I teach you how to efficiently and glamorously live your very best life. Say hi in the comments if you're new here, it's nice to virtually meet you. Before we get to the good stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified every single time that I post a video. Welcome back to my Beauty Basics series where we talk about all things beauty, what the product is, how it works, and how to apply it. In today's episode, we're talking about bronzer. So what is bronzer? I'm glad you asked. Bronzer is typically a cream, liquid, or powder product that you apply to the face in order to give the skin a sun-kissed glow. I stopped with those Oxford Dictionary definitions because they didn't really know. With bronzers, the application is really the key. There are two things that are very important when it comes to bronzer. The color of the product and how it is applied. There are liquids, there are creams, and there are powders. Pick what works for you, pick what you like. For those of you who are new to makeup and new to applying things, I would suggest starting with the powder just so that you can kind of get the hang of it. It's a little bit more forgiving in case you make mistakes as opposed to a cream or a liquid, which is a little bit more intense. In this demonstration, I will be showing you with a powder bronzer. I like to use this brush that's kind of weird. Honestly, I got it in a Tarte Christmas gift set years ago. If I can find a similar shaped brush, I will definitely link it below. This brush has really long bristles and it comes into like a bit of that dome shape, but it's more of a, an elongated and pointed shape. What I love about it is that it's very loose. <laughs> what I love about this brush is that the bristles are very loose. So you can very easily just kind of sculpt around the face and just kind of play. This is great for if you're just rushing out of the house and you're like, I just have to make myself look alive. It fits really well into like the contours of my cheekbones and it fits really well around the forehead and right, you know, right here on the jawline. It all just fits. It fits very well. It does pretty well with blush too, but I prefer it for bronzer and I kind of fake it and make it look like a contour because I don't have time. I do a lot of substitute teaching, so early mornings, I do not have time to be out here going full glam every day. So I'm just like, okay, let's make myself look alive under the fluorescent lights and Boom, let's get out of here. The great thing about this is that it makes you look like you got a little bit of a tan without the skin cancer. So I think it's a win-win. You wash it off at the end of the day and you don't have to live with skin cancer. That's why I love bronzer. You'll often hear the three and the E. They tell you to make a three and an E on your face. Here and down and here and down. Sometimes that can leave a little bit of space in the middle there. So I like to make sure that I really got in there. I kind of focus on each part. Like, okay, cool, we're getting the forehead. We're just kind of bringing that in. And I bring it in from the hairline in just a little bit. This is where a lot of times you'll see celebrities who have like this really dark section. It's just like a very dark section on their forehead and then it goes back to a more normal shade. That's because the makeup artist really like went intense on the bronzer. You don't need to go super intense. Less is more here. It's different if you are on camera, on stage, photo shoots, film, stage performances, all that. That's very different from your everyday look. Like even this is a lot. Like if you're, if you're looking at me right now on the camera, this whole look looks good. But if you're looking at me in real life, it looks very stark and very intense because I did my makeup specifically to look really great on camera, not to look great for anybody else when I'm just sitting here by myself in my apartment. But yeah, I just really like how it fits in the face. I really do. It's super nice. It's super nice. Bring it from the outside in. It's better to have a little bit of darkness here than it is to just have it like right in the smack center of your nose. When you first dip into the product, start it on the outsides of the face because that's much easier to disguise than it would be if you just went dip, dip, right on your nose. <gasps> 
sis, don't, don't do that to yourself. I'm here to help you. I like to fake and make my bronzer look a little bit like a contour because I'm not doing a million steps every day. I highly suggest that for you as well. Too many different powders, too much going on. You're gonna wanna go with the color of your skin tone. Are you more of a cool based skin tone, more of a warm based skin tone, more of a neutral? I tend to have more of a neutral skin tone so I can usually go either way when it comes to colors, but I like a slightly warmer bronzer, not orange, just warmer. Uh, Park Avenue Princess from Tarte, very good. It's a great place to start. For some of you, you might be like, you know what, this is just not, this is not showing up on my skin. Cool, then you go the next shade darker. And for some of you, you're gonna be like, whoa, this is way too dark on my skin. And then you go the next shade lighter. MAC is also a great place to start because they really help you when you go up to that counter. They're very helpful. They'll help you swatch things, figure it out, figure out what's gonna work best for your skin tone. Don't be afraid to go up to the people at the counters. If you go too orange, you're gonna look like an Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dee. If you are wise, you will listen to me. Not that I'm like omniscient or anything, but I have a lot of experience with makeup, so I really know what I'm talking about. I have done makeup on so many different skin tones, face shapes, skin types. I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions on how to apply these tips to your own face, book an appointment with me on the Naya Beauty app. I put the link in the description box below. You download the app, you go to book an appointment, you find a picture that looks like this, that's me, and you can book either a 30 minute or a 60 minute session where we can talk about all things beauty as it pertains to you, your face shape, your skin type, your skin tone, everything. I have done makeup on people all over the country, for magazines, for stage, for photography, for film, for all of it. And for proms, weddings, date nights, all of it. I have tons of experience and I would love to pass that on to you to help you figure out your own definition of beauty. Remember, you are beautiful just the way you are. You do not need makeup. This is just fun. If you would like to wear makeup, I'm gonna teach you what it is, how it works, and how to apply it. That's it for this video and until next time, stay hydrated, sis. Makeup is for everyone and anyone who wants to use it. You know, doing the thing. Okay, motorcycles, chainsaws, planes. It's just, it's all happening today. Oh, you like my tinsel?